friends and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new my name is Jillian and today as you guys can see from the title it is going to be a closet like clean out organized with me so I desperately have two closets that I need to clean out which is the one that's underneath my stairs my husband did build a shelving unit under there and it was organized for a good amount of time but then I started letting the kids go in and out of there and they started making it messy not putting things back where it belongs and then also since I decorate, you know, for each season, right now I'm decorating for Halloween. So all of my like yearly um, decorations that are out when it's not a holiday are in bins and I just threw them in there and it's really, really messy and it's just driving me crazy and I need to go ahead and clean that out. I also need to clean out the hall closet that is upstairs. That is super messy as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and quickly do that. This will also probably be a two day thing just because I only have one hour before I have to go get the kids from school. So I'm only gonna have time to clean one closet. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the downstairs one just because that's the one that we use the most like going in and out of. And then tomorrow I'll probably pick it back up and then do the second closet. So let's go ahead and jump right into today's clean and organize with me. All right guys, this is me keeping it real. I'm gonna show you guys the before and what I am working with and why I need an hour to clean and organize this closet but this is how everything is looking so i even have fall decor here because i took a few items down when i was decorating for halloween everything is literally piled on top of each other so those two containers is um just yearly decorations that i threw in there because that's where i keep like my halloween decorations and then everything's just piled up and then the kids come in here they don't put everything where it belongs so all of their stuff is thrown in there because ryan never puts anything where it belongs but yeah, this is what I'm working with. So I'm going to go ahead and start pulling everything out. Hopefully an hour will be enough. All right, friends. So just like with everything else, when I organize, I pull everything out and then I start going through everything that I pulled out and sorting through it, throwing away anything that needs to be tossed out and then organizing it into the rightful bins or certain area wherever I want to keep it. So that is what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to pull everything out as far as everything that is on the floor. And then for the shelves, I didn't pull everything out from the shelves because some of it was already organized, but anything that was not organized, that was just maybe thrown on top of bins. I did take out. And then once I am done doing all of that, then I'm going to go ahead and go through everything. I had a trash bag full of stuff that I threw out. So I was able to declutter as well and purge because like I said, I had a trash bag full of things that I went ahead and threw out and this is everything that I pulled out. I laid it out in the living room and now I'm going to go ahead and sit down and start sorting through everything.
And now that everything is organized, I'm gonna go ahead and quickly sweep out the closet and then I'm gonna start placing everything back in the closet. Searching for your place, is it even there to find? Is there a chance for me to clean your memory? All right, you guys, so this is the after. I have ran out of time, but it doesn't look perfect, but at least I can walk in it. So down here really quickly, I have the kids play-doh i also have some outdoor stuff for the kids to play with and then all their craft stuff is in there this is supposed to be a diy that i hopefully will be doing soon extra workout equipment and here is extra crayons and markers i need to get a like bin or container to put that in so it's not just that in the corner there but for now i just left it there markers are in here some drawing paper ryan's little table he uses to like do crafts on over here is extra like holiday little small gift bags, extra um, crayons, markers, erasers, pencils, stuff like that. These are supposed to be like little gift bags. I was going to have like a little birthday celebration for Madison, but because of the pandemic, we didn't have that. So those are the bags from that. In this Target bag, I just have a bunch of like little gifts and cards for the kids' teachers anytime a holiday comes around. These two I definitely need to go through. I just don't have time right now, but these are my two crafting bins. So that is what's in there. And then this is just like a little gift box. My mom's birthday is coming up, so I'll probably put her gift in there. But yeah, this is how everything looks. So it doesn't look perfect, but it'll have to do for now. All right, friends. So that's going to be the first half because like I said, I did run out of time. I'm going to do tomorrow the hallway closet that is upstairs. And honestly, that probably won't take me too long. Um, this is a closet that I knew would take me a little bit longer. So that's why I did it first because I wanted to get it out of the way. But tomorrow I will pick it back up. If you guys are wondering where I put all those other containers, like all the stuff that had all the holiday and yearly um, home decor, I just stored it in my guest bedroom just because we don't really ever use that bedroom unless we have guests staying with us. So I just put it in there for now so that I have room to walk in the storage closet. I'm always coming in here to grab things. So are the kids. So I just stored it over there in the guest bedroom, but I'm going to pick this back up tomorrow. All right, friends. So it is two days later and I'm going to go ahead and quickly clean out the hall closet that is upstairs in my like loft area. So it shouldn't take me too long because it's not like a huge closet it's not as big as the closet that is right here underneath my stairs so i'm thinking that it shouldn't take me more than like i don't know like 15 20 minutes hopefully so i'm gonna go ahead and go upstairs and start pulling everything out i also have been using that as like a storage closet so i've just been throwing things in there i know the kids play tent is in there a bunch of extra like blankets and just a bunch of random stuff so let's go ahead upstairs and i'll show you guys the before and then i'll start cleaning and organizing all right, guys, so this is the before. Yes, don't judge. Both of my closets were really, really messy. I usually try not to let the closets get like this, but honestly, I'm human and sometimes it gets like this. So this is what I am working with. I just wanted to give you guys a really quick before. So now I'm going to pull everything out of the closet just like I did with the closet downstairs. And then I will start organizing, folding everything back up. And then I did also have a trash bag full of stuff from this closet that I was able Able to throw out and then I also had maybe like three or four things that I was able to also donate which also felt really good so I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum out the closet really quickly and then start going through everything So honestly, to keep it real, this tent took me forever to fold. These are like the little pop-up tents and you would think they were easy to fold back up to put in the bags, but I swear it just kept on popping up in my face. It was driving me nuts, but after probably five minutes of fighting with it, I was finally able to figure it out and fold it up so I can be able to put in the bag. Now I'm going to go ahead and fold up some extra sheets and blankets we have that I usually store in there. I suck at folding 
comforters for the bed. I just don't do a good job with that. I need to actually go on YouTube or something or Pinterest and figure out an easier way to fold it because every time I fold it, it just looks so messy. But I did fold it as best as possible and then I'm gonna fold all the towels and everything else and then start placing everything back in the closet. Alright you guys, so this is the stuff that I'm not storing in there anymore. Some of the stuff I do have to just throw away, like that old, old playpen. And then these pillows are super, super old and stained. Throw those away. And then a few clothing items. I don't even really know why it was in there, but I'm going to throw that away as well. That comforter I usually have in my guest bedroom. I don't know why it was upstairs, so I'm going to go ahead and fold it and put it back downstairs. And then those are Christmas sacks, so I need to go ahead and put in the Christmas bin. But... Yeah, that is everything that I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of or put in their rightful places. All right, guys. So I am now done. It doesn't look perfect. Um, I do need to get baskets to kind of make things look a little more organized and not just thrown in there. But for now, this will do. At least I can walk in here and it's not like thrown everywhere. So that is the baby gate that used to be in front of Madison's bedroom. But we took it down. That's the extra blow up mattress there's a bag to store it in i have no clue where it is so for now i just stuffed it under there under there is a bunch of beach and pool towels and then those towels are over there are the ones that are usually in the kids bathroom but the bar broke so robert has to fix that so i'm just storing it in there two extra pillows and then these are like extra pillowcases blankets um comforters madison's little pillowcase not pillowcase um sleeping bag and then I have two of the kids' tents in here, more extra bedding, and then this is our winter um, comforter that I'll probably be taking down soon. But yeah, that's how everything looks like. Like I said, not perfect, but definitely so much better than before. All right, friends, so that is going to end my clean and organize with me. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found some motivation while I finally tackled this. This was definitely on my to-do list for a few weeks now, and I kept on putting it on the back burner because I was dreading having to clean and organize these closets, especially the one that is downstairs. But it feels so good to finally have it out of the way, and now I can find things. Everything is not thrown on the floor. I definitely need to buy some baskets for this upstairs closet just because I feel like it'll just look so much better if I can have at least two baskets in there to store all of like the blankets pillowcases and like comforters instead of just throwing it in there but for now that'll have to do doesn't look perfect but like I said at least I can find things now and nothing's on the floor but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did remember to give my video a thumbs up and also subscribe and turn on notification bell if you haven't already it would seriously mean the world to me if you guys subscribe and become a part of my YouTube family thanks so much for watching I love you guys and I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day I'll see you guys next time Bye.